In the last tutorial we made a very simple sample player. In this tutorial we will make a more flexible player that lets us change the pitch and playback rate in different ways. To do this we will use the tab read 4 object instead of the tab play object. This requires an audio signal as input to play through the sample. We use a phase or to count from 0 to 1. Then multiply this by the length of the sample. This read through the sample from beginning to end as the phase or amps up. of the phase or is now the playback rate. It's all well and good, but how do we work out what rate it should be for normal playback? We can do this with a bit of maths. Let's set up the send for our file duration. We will use the dollar note notation here as at some stage we will want multiple versions that don't conflict with each other. We can use the length to automatically scale the phase or output. That way it will adjust itself when a new file is loaded. We also use it to derive the correct playback rate. To do this, we divide the sample rate by the duration. Note which way around this is. The dollar $f2, the sample rate, is the numerator and the dollar $f1, the duration, is the denominator. This should tell us how slowly to play through our phase or. Let's test that. Something is not right here. Oh yes, the file duration sent as an underscore, silly me. Let's test with different samples to make sure the rate adapts itself. Great! Brilliant! It's useful to be able to set the playback relative to this calculated rate. We can do this with a simple multiply. Now a value of 1 means normal rate, 2 means double rate, 0 0.5 means half rate, and so on. The phase or approach automatically loops. This is sometimes what we want, but what if we just want one playthrough at a particular rate? We can use the line object instead of the phase or for this. We use a message to ask the line to go from 0 to 1. Just like the phase or, we need to tell it how many milliseconds this will take though, which is a slightly different calculation. Here we divide the duration by the sample rate, and multiply by 1000 to convert from seconds to milliseconds.
There we go. For the playback rate adjustments, we want to divide rather than multiply, but otherwise this is similar. Whoops, that should be divide. I will remove the trigger too, as I only want this to trigger when I press the button. Great stuff. That's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we will tidy these up into nice simple modules that you can easily add to your patch. After that we will look at polyphony. Bye 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 bye.